Howdy fellas, Steven here with Sunrise W Land and Cattle. The last video we talked about the pasture raised chicken. Today we're going to talk about how we make that possible with our coop right here. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the chicken crib. Let's go inside. So here we have everything that is essential for the chicken. Starting off with the roost scenario. So at night, the chickens like to be perched up on a spot. So they'll come up here and they fall asleep here. Here in the middle, we have the food. All right, so we have a big hopper in the back and the food is automatic. Now we don't feed them much because they have all these bugs and the grass outside. So we feed them right at night. So that way it brings the chickens in and they get a little bit of that calcium for stronger eggs. Over here we have the nest scenario. And so you can see they lay their eggs. We actually got one right here. So they lay their eggs. The eggs roll down onto a conveyor belt. And part of this system is it has doors. And so in the afternoon, these doors will close. So if you have a broody hen, it will kick them off the egg so we can collect the egg. Now we have automatic water. And that water feeds these nipples over here and then it feeds a bell in the back. And then we also have automatic lights. Now chickens need about 18 hours of light every single day. So the lights come on early in the morning and they don't shut off until about 10 o'clock at night. Now a very important aspect of having these chickens is of course the eggs. So with this coop, it's very easy to collect the eggs. So we have two different rows that we can collect the eggs. And as they lay, it goes down on this conveyor and we just crank it and the eggs come out. Now we already collected the eggs today, but it's very easy to gather them and it also keeps them clean because it stays away from the rest of the chickens. So we have two doors to this coop that are automatic and they're on a sensor. So when it gets bright enough in the morning, the doors will open so the chickens can go outside and do their deal. And then at night, it'll close about 10 minutes after dark when the chickens are all inside to help protect them from predators. Now we also have this bell in the back so that way they can drink water without having to go into the coop. And then we have the dogs feeder for the guardian dogs. And this is high enough so the chickens can't get into it, but low enough so the dogs can go through, get whatever food they need. All right, Ruger wasn't in the last video, so we made sure he was in on this one. But the last aspect of the coop is it has this tongue so we can hook it up to a UTV and we can move it around behind the cattle. Now this was a very quick overview of this coop and how it's possible for us to raise these pasture raised chickens and move them throughout the field. Now make sure you leave a comment, like the video, let us know if you want to know anything else, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.